and so we're going into night one of our first overnight offshore passage. It's been a big old sail. Okay, let's see if she goes. <laughs> Howdy from Canada. We're back working and saving for the 2020 season. This next episode was filmed a couple of months ago and we just wanted to give you a little bit of information before we get started. Yeah, this was our first big passage at 380 nautical miles from Tivat, Montenegro to Corinthos in Greece. And we had a couple of pit stops on the way, firstly at Corfu to check in at customs and secondly at the Lefkis Canal just to get a little bit of rest. We found this passage pretty tough. It was our first time doing anything like this, just knackered, engine problems, all that kind of stuff. So as a result, we just didn't pick up the camera that much. So we pieced together the footage that we had and our logbook entries to try and give you the best representation of how hard this long journey was for us. Here's episode 18. So the sun has just set. And so we're going into night one of our first overnight offshore passage. We did one sail into the night, but never right through. So we still have 155 nautical miles to Corfu. Out of 191. Yeah, yeah, so we're, we're getting there. And uh, yeah, the sea state's been kind of on the beam and now it's switch is kind of following us. These like one meter rolly waves, but the wind has been like five knots you know, gusting and we're rolling. And so we've just had to motor the whole way and yeah, start our shifts. So I guess we'll go three and three. Seems fair, seems what other people do. So I guess we'll just work it out and see how that works for us. I will uh, keep you updated during the night and you can see how tired we get. Good morning team. We're just over hundred nautical miles away. It's 3 a.m. and I've just come on shift. I just rolled out Mel Gibson. There's a little bit of wind now. So I think we'll just run headset until it's daylight and then we'll try for some main. Keep on keeping on. Yo! Good morning. So Jobbo and myself have both done our first three hour shifts. Check who's come out to see me. Probably looks tiny on the camera, but apparently Jobbo got the sails up while I was sleeping last night and we got 10 knots on the beam. And we are 43 nautical miles until our first waypoint. But our first waypoint, we should start seeing land again. So I did actually manage to get some sleep in that three hours, which is pretty good, but yeah, I could definitely do it somewhere. Good morning. Just come on watch. It's about 9 a.m. Sun's up. The wind's actually picked up a little bit, but dead ahead of us. We're starting to make our way back close to the coast of Albania now. We've kind of skipped that that hollow. But making good progress, just motoring along. Ugh. I think I'm gonna need to wake up for a bit. Good afternoon. I woke up about an hour ago from my last three hours sleep and I have to say I'm pretty tired. So we've just uh, come up to the coast of Albania. It was pretty spooky coming in this morning. It was all in a bit of a haze. So it's just like mountainous shadows, but super, super cool. And we've got the sails up. Currently close hauled. If we keep up this kind of pace, we might be in a little bit earlier. So I think the plan is to anchor, get some rest, and then get up early in the morning and get all our vignette and customs done. Okay, we'll update you soon. Bye. Okay, so Montenegro is time to come down. Q flag, time to go up, and Greece isn't too far away now. Getting pumped. Yo.
So we're just cruising along on the sails and all of a sudden the engine cuts out, which obviously puts a fear of death into both of us. So we immediately tacked to get away from the shore behind us. There's a bit of wind so we can just sail away from that. Oh, this is not what we want to happen. So we were on a lee shore, close hauled, motor sailing and engine just go cuts out hard and i was like oh maybe we're on too much of a lean and we got some air in and i come down to bleed it that's meant to be tight okay let's see if she goes yeah try again As expected, my quick fix on the engine didn't fix and my tools are terrible. I just tried to pull it tight and I just snapped this crappy spanner and cut myself. Good times. So, let's try to fix it again. And this thing's been running for 24 hours, so it's smoking hot. So I've taken the air box off so I can get at this silly little bolt that keeps coming loose when it's hot. So I've got Loctite here, so I'm gonna clean it all up, fill it with Loctite and crank it back on there. Hey, I got the bolt out. Still doing all right? Yeah. Are we drifting fast? Nope. Okay. Hey, can you start it and just leave it in idle, please? So we're just skirting past the Albania coastline. Just down a little bit farther around this point is the island of Corfu and the start of Greece. But the landscape here is really cool and totally uninhabited. Like the closest town is up over the ridge there and it's, it's pretty impressive. And we just picked up like 10 knots from behind. So we're just gonna motor sailing with a bit of Mel Gibson out. Just pulling us on a little bit. Oh, still a long way to go though. Good morning. We're uh, still chugging along. You can see Corfu, so we're only maybe three miles away. Exciting times. Just getting passed by this huge ferry, scaring the crap out of me. I'm so small and slow, but sun's just coming up. We had those engine problems. Sailed for a couple of hours, quite slowly, just to let it all cool off and start it again, and it seem to be working better so I'm really stumped on what could be causing it it's been a big old sail tonight was a little bit harder because we had quite a bit of engine trouble again it just spitting out again so it was making everything a little bit tense and nerve-wracking and you know, new waters, we don't know what it looks like, all that kind of stuff, but you know, we're fine and yeah, but just super tired and looking forward to just getting there and getting a rest. You know, sailing is absolutely majestic, but it's also really quite tiring and difficult, but I definitely wouldn't change it for the world. It's, you know, it's a serious challenge and it's looking pretty awesome here right now. The sun is just about to come up over in the mountains there. Well, we've arrived in Corfu. How was your micro nap? Good. Just trying to add up lots of little sleeps into one big sleep. Oh. Feeling pretty flecked out now though. Welcome to Greece. Not have much sleep, trying to find where we're going. So, running about, keep me waiting, but it's all good. Is it all good? I'm ready for bed. I'm fucking knackered. Okay, we've just pulled anchor in Corfu and we're leaving it behind. Really quick stop, did a quick provision, 
got a couple of uh, globes to fix our running lights and hopefully there's going to be some wind fill in tonight so it should be more of a sail trip than a motor trip but to be seen. Anyways we're off. Lovely morning. Feels like it's been a crazy long night. I just come back on watch and uh, we're just approaching we're somewhere. We're at the north end of the Lefkas Canal. But I think we're just gonna miss the bridge. But we're we're smashed, we're shattered. So I think I'm just gonna pull up, you know, get an hour's rest or two and just go from there. Well, this is pretty cool. We're just uh, passing the Lefkas Canal, waiting for the bridge to kind of swing open. It's like a boat. The bridge is a boat. Anyway, it got out of the way and it's just a stream of boats pumping through. It's pretty cool. What do you think, Captain? Yeah, it's a strange little canal. A lot of boats, so a lot of traffic. I guess this is the quickest way to get around to where we're going. This is the route everybody takes, eh? I but look so. how close the bank is. Yeah, yeah, Hello? Yeah, yeah. Coffee for the captain. Oh, she's pretty, isn't she? Can you hear that? Bet you can't. Engines turned off. Look at this. Oh, sweet sailing. It's windy. Are you ready? We're gonna get there a lot faster if we keep this up. Come here! Captain? Yes, it's nice to sail. We get the bloody engine off. Give it a break. This is like a bluebird power day, but for sailors. We've got 11 knots just forward of the beam, sunny skies, calm seas. It's about 30 degrees making five and a half to six knot boat speed. This is awesome. Now we're cruising, engines off, sails off. Happy cabby. I've been in this in a race with this boat behind me now for maybe three hours because we've taken two different reefs in the mainsail now we have to point up into the wind so we lost a heap of time and he's caught us so this is probably the most challenging conditions we've been in so far it's not crazy but it's definitely actually put our skills to practice so we've been doing a lot of reefs and furling in the genoa and just trying to depower it a few times we're also getting overtaken so I don't know, maybe we should just give up sailing. What do you think? Admit defeat. We put up a fair fight. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Should we just give up sailing? We're passing under this bridge in the middle of the night. Woo! Passing under a bridge is scaring us out there. Woohoo! We made it. Yeah. What an experience, we're here. This is Corinth just ahead with the Corinth Canal. This is where we're meeting Bobby and Liam. So we have been pushing hard all day and all night to get here. And we made it and it feels awesome. Definitely learn a lot about how far you want to sail in a day, how far you can sail in a day. And uh, you know, it's been interesting to push Shell and myself as a team, you know, working together on a new boat. But here we are, happy, happy ready for a beer and a full night's sleep. It's been a, a long push and stoked. We made it, the boat made it, engine held out miraculously, and it's beautiful here. Looking forward to see Bobby and Liam tonight. Yo! Thanks very much for watching. Leave a comment below, we'd love to hear back from you. Let us know what you think. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I haven't had a full night's sleep since we're in Kator in uh, 
Oh, my brain's spacey. But how good are we getting at parking now? Cell five. Yeah. That's my car. Beautiful darling. What's that country called? M m m m m Morocco, Medora. Malta, no. I still can't think of it, this is ridiculous. Anyway, Jobbo just gave me a coffee with a little bit of Baileys in it and I have to say I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, bleh, bleh. Montenegro, there we go. Bye, good night.